Sometimes it's very difficult to believe that God is at work in the dark moments of our life. But the reality is that there are many times in our lives when we go through a hard time or, or even a harsh season that, that seems to shake us and trouble us. But at the end, we find that we scaled through it without any scratch. That's because God is at work in the dark moments. There are dark moments in our life. There are times when we're going through stubborn situations that seem as if we cannot see the end of it. There are times when it seems as if God is just silent about our case. There are times when it seems like you should give up your life because you don't know what to do. But that's not the case, actually. Many times, because we're blind to see what God is doing, we begin to feel left out and weak in the dark moments. It might be the bondage of depression you're fighting or sleepless nights that you've been battling for many years now or anything that seems like a pain in your neck where everything is all dark and unpleasant. See beyond the dark because God is telling you and saying to you that your treasure and blessing is in your dark moments. You might have been praying to God to take that battling illness or depression away, but God has been silent because there's a way he wants to handle the situation. You're praying that it be rolled away. You're praying that it be rolled away instantly. But God wants to reveal to you a certain dimension of his hand on your life. He wants to reveal to you that there is a blessing reserved in the pain and dark moments. Remember the story of Joseph, who would have thought that he would have risen to be the second in command in the whole of Egypt. Joseph was sold for just 30 pieces of silver and brought to Potiphar's house, where he was faithful, but he was betrayed by Potiphar's wife, which brought him in the prison. That was a dark moment for Joseph. If you were to be in his shoe, you would have thought and cried to God and asked him why he was silent and why did he bring you to this place of chaos and darkness. It was God himself that gave him the vision that caused him trouble before his brothers. That made them jealous to the extent that they sold him for money. What can be as miserable as that? He would have wept for many days in prison and asked himself many questions. What if he did not tell his brothers about the vision? He would not have ended up in the pit where he was sold for 30 pieces of silver. And if he did not end up in Potiphar's wife's house, he would not have ended up in the dungeon. And if he was not in the dungeon, he would not have ended up interpreting the dream of the buckler and the baker and ended up meeting the king, where he interpreted the king's dream that led him to be the second in command of the throne of Egypt. Greatness always comes with a price. There's a price for greatness. If you have to stand before kings and sit in the places of the dynasty, you must be ready to face the dark moments and trust God that he will take you through. The same way God brought out of the dark moments in Joseph's life's treasures and blessings, the same way he'll show himself in your life. God will bring you your treasure and blessing in your dark moments. Many have given testimonies of how it was in their trial of life. They got that million dollar paying job. Many have given testimonies that in the time of their depression, they received that extraordinary help from the persons that they never imagined. That is what God is saying to you that your treasure and blessing is in your dark moments. God has said in his word in Isaiah 45 verse 3, And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou shall mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. He will give you treasures of darkness, meaning that in that dark moments, there are treasures in you just that you're not yet seeing them with your physical eye, but they can be seen when God opens your eyes. The eye of your heart to see the opportunities and the channel where the treasures are hidden. God has reserved blessings and treasures in your dark moments. There are good days in the pronoun which makes the good days longer than the evil day. Everybody will meet up with that opportune time of evil. We cannot stop the happenings of our lives. The rain and the sun will always come. It's a default thing in life. We cannot hinder the events from coming, be it the good days or evil days. But we can determine the outcome of every event of our life. There are treasures in dark moments and many untold blessings loaded in the harsh moments. This is not normal and it doesn't agree with common sense. 
because a normal human will never believe that there are blessings and treasures in that harsh time. They believe that every hard circumstance is designed to bring them down and cause them defeat and despair. But we who have God at our side and that are spiritual have a different understanding. A spiritual understanding that there is a positive agenda to every trouble and trial in our lives. That is why we rejoice in the face of challenges, because we know there's a knowing in our knower that is a positive agenda by God to bring us to the place of glory and peace. God has reserved the best in your dark moments. You're not alone in that dark season. God is with you. There was a story about Elijah, the servant of God who represented God and won the battle with the prophets of Baal and destroyed their altars by the rain of fire from heaven. Then the king of Samaria at that time, Ahab, the wicked king, told his wife who was the head of the prophets and both of them planned to cut his head off. When Elijah heard that, he was depressed and afraid, so he ran away from Israel and even left his servant and even began suicidal. He was in the dark seasons of his life, when God appeared and woke him up and fed him. In the day of Elijah's exploits and faith, God used a raven to feed and even a widow to feed him. But in the day of Elijah's depression and weakness, God himself fed him. Many times we always have this mindset that when I'm in my dark time, God leaves us. That's not true. God is closer to you than you think and he's right with you, telling you that in that dark moment, you'll find a blessing and a treasure. The dark moments of our lives are the best if you look from a spiritual perspective. There are a lot of provisions in God for you when you go through a dark season that anyone who's not in a dark season will not go through. God is saying to you that you're not staying in that dark season or moment of your life. You might have received a bad diagnosis from the doctor about your body, or you might have received a bad report about your children, and now you can't sleep and you're always thinking about it night and day. God is telling you to rest in that very affliction and night or difficult season because he will be your shield and exceedingly great reward. And he has prepared a treasure and blessing in the dark season. You will not stay in the valley of the shadow of death. You will walk past it. It says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because the Lord is with you, bringing you out of it. And never forget this. You never come back of the dark moment the same way you came in. When you come out of it, you'll come out carrying a treasure and a blessing to your family and your society because you've waited on God and you fulfilled his plan for your life. So see beyond the pain and the trouble but see the treasure and blessing coming out of the dark moment. This means miracles are landing and coming for you. New chapters and seasons of the miraculous are coming to your life. A kind of miracle that'll open the door to other kinds of miracles. People get tougher after the dark moments as seen from history to now. We see that there is always an increased influence when they come from the dark moments. So begin to rejoice in the Lord and practice your victory through that dark moment because you will come out of it with a blessing and a treasure.